Bring in the hate. Get your finger ready on that thumbs down button. But in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about five games that no matter how many times I try to play them, I just can't get into it. Obviously, these are my opinions and I'm certain that you'll disagree, but hey, this is the internet and that's totally fine. I'm sure everyone will just act totally reasonable and, you know, nice in the comments, right? So bring it on. I'm a middle school teacher. There's nothing you can't say that I don't hear every day. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Coming in at number five is Blade and Sorcery. Now, if you followed my channel for a while, you would know that I've played this game on multiple occasions, uploaded footage, and I have mixed feelings about it. No matter what I do, I just can't seem to get into this. Maybe it's because I'm not really into murder simulators or I don't have a lot of pent up aggression inside me, but I find this game and games like Bone Lab dull because it feels like I'm just playing pretend. Maybe I'm old fashioned, but I need a game with a storyline. I feel like these sandbox style games don't really have what tickles my fancy in gaming. I, I love that people get enjoyment out of these, but some of my finest memories in gaming are from stories, the twists and turns of Lies Beneath, the anxiety of alien isolation, the batshit ending of Soma that left me with an existential crisis for months on end. That's just what I value, and these types of games leave me wanting. If you're into these games though, I recommend following Tech Manju. He has extremely clever videos with Blade and Sorcery that are entertaining to watch and kind of scary. Julian, see a therapist, bro. Number four, anything with multiplayer. Wanna know my personal hell? Logging into Rec Room, Gym Class, Horizon Worlds, VR Chat, and being bombarded by voices of strangers. I need someone to talk to. Who, who can talk to me real quick? Are you on my, are you on my BBA team or VR? Who can talk to me real quick? This is literally the last thing I want to do in VR. Maybe it's because I use VR as an escape from regular people and by the time uh, the headset goes on my head, my social battery is usually drained. I can manage teamwork based games like Knock and Echo, RIP, but these games where you just stand around and yell at each other and basically do nothing? Jesus Christ, I don't get it. Like, why does anyone want to do this? My son loves this. He'll, he'll play Rec Room for hours, and I feel like all they do is yell at each other and spam memes at each other, and I'm just like... I don't know, man. It ain't for me, but I also get that maybe not everyone has a job where they have to be social for large majority of it, and this can be a way to interact with other people after slaving away in an office cubicle by yourself. But for me... Nah, I'm good. Let's get into the fitness side of these games. And of course, I gotta start with an old enemy. That's right, Power Beats VR. I just don't get it. Maybe I'm punching down here because I've been spoiled with games like FitXR that has fantastic mechanics, Supernatural with beautiful backgrounds, coaching and music, and even non-traditional fitness games like Pistol Whip and Until You Fall. But Power Beats VR is just a game I cannot get into. I find the in-game music terrible. I know, I know, I need to upload my own music. Uh, the hit detection is pretty awful. The gamification using hammers and shields is just stupid. I also find the expert levels to be impossibly hard for the sake of being hard with no real fitness intention. The movements are blah. I just don't get it. Am I inviting more PB fanboys into my comments to hate even more? Absolutely, bring it on nerds. But honestly, I just don't like this game and find it lifeless and dull. The auto-generated maps, repetitive and uninspiring. For a game that's touted as a supernatural alternative created by a team of PhD, well, they are PhDs, I don't know why I'm doing that. A team of PhDs, I find it to be pretty lame. Now here's one that I'm super excited for that people love and I tried so hard to love, but I've just found it completely broken and that's Rumble. Rumble is an earthbending PC VR game that has you striking various poses to summon rocks and fight other people online. I dumped so many hours into this game trying to get it to be good. Oh, don't believe me? Here. Duke? Hey look, it's my cat Duke. Say hi Duke. He just farted. But no matter what I do, I cannot get the poses to work right during the matches. They're so touchy and I feel like I randomly get them correct. And I don't even get me started on multiplayer. I feel like I would like this game more if there was a single player mode or a story mode. But since it's strictly online based, I have to interact with 
people? Ew. I find it to be more frustrating than anything else. This is strictly my experience though. If you want to see someone who's good at it, check out Jasmine in VR. She streams this game sometimes and is way better at it than I am. I just don't have any more patience for it. Number one, oh yeah, I've saved the best for last. And by best, I mean most controversial opinion for last. The game that seems to be beloved by all and just kind of meh for me is the one, the only, Gorilla Tag. Yes, 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 yes. Bring it on, bring it on. While I do find the game to be clever, I get bored with it fairly quickly. I also get a little tired of British kids screaming in my ears constantly, so there's that. Every time I log into the game though, I feel like we're never actually playing tag, but rather it devolves into something else, like one person going as high as they can on a tree and me just running around while kids are giggling at each other and heavy breathing in my ear. Fun. While I'll admit this is probably my favorite game of the ones I've listed, I think it's the one that I feel like most people love and I just find a little dull. Again, this is probably because of my personal experience as a 40 year old man teaching 6 to 14 year old kids how to wreck each other and dodgeball every day, not wanting to end my day with more screaming children playing tag with each other. Call me crazy. I have a hard time turning off my teacher brain and want to correct these kids behavior when they start cursing too. It's just not relaxing or fun for me. Parents. You can probably relate to this. What games do you seem to hate that everyone else loves? Let me know in the comments and do you disagree with me on these games and want to act like a sweaty red faced nerd and rage in the comments? Feel free. Oh, and since you made it this far, let's do a giveaway. The comment that makes me laugh the hardest wins a Quest 2 game of your choice. On me, I don't care which one. My name is Ari with Fit Pro VR. And don't forget to get your shitty workout in today.